this course is Digital Information Technology. It is a high school level course that's offered to eighth grade students. Um, once they successfully complete the course, they earn a high school level credit. So this course, we build upon the skills that they've already learned in sixth grade with me in computer applications. Um, they learn about computer structure, the basic functions of a computer, new emerging technologies. We go into databases, the internet, um, key applications like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. They do some career planning, um, HTML and web page design, and um, different units that will make them successful in the real world. So everything we do is technology driven. So these kids have learned Microsoft Office applications. We are using Microsoft Teams um, as the online learning platform. So everything was able to transfer over. And it's just kind of transferring those skills that they've learned in my class to our new COVID situation. I do earn CAPE funds for my students, which I then in turn around spend on my classroom. Um, that allows me to purchase new monitors, stay up to date with the technology or any programs for the students. Um, it also allows me to purchase um, vouchers for certifications. So in each one of my courses, computer applications and digital information technology, um, my students have the opportunity to earn a um, digital tool certification or industry level certification. 65 words per minute, boys. As technology is growing in our next unit, we focus on, is on emerging technology. Students will realize that um, this is a way of you know, education, a way of careers. Um, everything involves technology. So it's important that they understand these basic skills. Madison, do you know what solid state drive is replacing? What do we call the old drive? I think it's very important that our vocational courses like um, computer applications and digital information technology, I feel that every student should have the opportunity to take it because these skills, um, whether it's the basic skills or more advanced skills, um, all these students need to apply them in some way. And it also gives those students that maybe are not um, great in other areas, in content areas, the opportunity to excel in vocational course, which is one thing that I love about teaching this class, is I see students that might not excel in other areas, but they come to me and they're great with these skills, um, computer skills, technology skills. So it gives them a chance to shine.